Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila, and I'm here to do the May love reading for the Gemini for May 2016. So I'm going to be doing it a little bit different this week or this month for this monthly reading. Um, this is going to be a six card reading. Um, it's a general reading for the Gemini, so um, if you want a personalized reading, go to my website. And you might want to go there because the slots are filling up. All right, so I am just going to shuffle. Okay, and so card number one is going to be what actions you need to take right now. So any actions or advice. Um, card two is uh, what sexual connection do you have with this person? What kind of <clears throat> sexual connection? Um, we're going to be looking at your emotional connection, your external influences. Card number five is, is there a long-term potential? And then card number six is your outcome card. All right, so I'm just going to shuffle. Hey, sweetie, come up here. Jacob. Come here, baby. Sorry, guys. He got angry at me earlier, so he was kind of downstairs. <laughs> and I'm trying to coax him back up here because... He was being my little spoiled brat. <sighs> now, card number one is also uh, going to look at your subconscious. Um, this is um, letting you know what you need to be aware of. So your subconscious is things that you are not aware of, which is what makes tarot card reading so valuable. And what you got, Gemini, is the five of wands so there's definitely some conflict and uh, you know you are in a competitive love situation um you know this car could be there to remind you that you know you just need to believe in yourself and not fear your competition um so that you can rise above them um, also, this card could just be related to you, Gemini, as this conflict within yourself. There's a conflict being resolved for you, Gemini. And, you know, there's discord, there's, there's struggle. Um, some of you may be even dealing with some legal troubles this month because of your love life. Um, also, your neighbors might start, you know, complaining to you. So there's just some negative energy surrounding you right now that is affecting your love life. Um, if you are currently involved with someone, um, someone is putting some negative energy towards your relationship. Someone is uh, really trying to, to change, um, you know, who you are as a person. Okay, if you're single, um, this is letting you know that you don't need to fear the competition so much. Don't be so fearful of the competition. Jacob. Jay, come here, baby. <laughs> He's fussing. Um, card number two is your sexual connection. You got the death card. So there's some of you that have a very, very heavily loaded sexual relationship because the death card is about transformation. So this is a major arcana card. So I'm not even going to lie. You, so a lot of you Gemini's for you to get the death card uh, points to a very, very. Oh, my God, this could this could be lots of different things. Um, I, I, what I would say that I'm feeling off the top from it is um, is a really amazing a sexual experience that will bring about transformation so if you um, are single you can look forward to this this month as well as if you are um, involved with someone you know your relationship is going to change 
and the sex between the two of you is going to change. Now, the death card. Um, you know, when we look at the sexuality part of the death card, there's a whole lot of things that could come out of this card depending on the surrounding cards. I mean, at the top of the hour, you know, this could indicate some sort of sexual disease, okay? Um, or just discovering secrets about the person. But what I'm getting is an intense relationship, and I'm getting that there are people surrounding you <clears throat> that have an issue with that okay um also you could be you know engaging in in some sort of a secretive love affair maybe you're keeping your love affair secret um there's a whole lot of possibilities with this card number three is your emotional connection and you got the knight of wands so I, I wouldn't say that this is a literal person because of the position of the card so your emotional connection uh, was very fast. So if you're single, you and this person are going to connect very quickly. Okay? You are going to be very, very familiar with each other. And the same thing for if you're already involved with someone. It was a very fast, heavily loaded connection. Jay, come upstairs, sweetie. I know, baby. He's fussing at me. <laughs> um. Okay, so your external influences. And you got the five of coins. So, not a good card. This is a lot of chaos. When you look at the illustration of the five of coins... It's really sort of like a self-inflicted type of thing. Um, but being that we're looking specifically at the external influences, you know, on you know, surrounding the month of May, I would say there's probably people that um, are probably burdening you with their money ah. problems. Um, I would say that maybe you're going to be borrow, you're going to be loaning money out and it's going to cause you some issues. So I'd say be careful because that's going to affect you negatively because you might want to put some money up and save. Okay. So this month I want, I, I want to let you Gemini's know to put your money up and don't spend it all in one place. If you are, if you have not met someone or if you are, if you are single currently and you meet someone this month, don't break your budget taking them out, okay? Um, I can also sense that for some of you Geminis, there's some um, negative spirits surrounding you that's keeping you from any kind of divine connection. Um, which is especially within yourself. There is hope within this card though. Okay. Because in the illustration. Um, you can see. The person is basically running from themselves. In my opinion. Because that's why one of their eyes is closed. And the other one is open. But as you can see. There is. The sun is rising. Okay. There's warmth. In the background. There's two balanced pillars almost like the twin towers so it's like a hope it's like hope is in the distance okay um is this person gonna have any long-term potential you got the page of wands i'd say yes so if you're single and you've met someone you know or if you do meet someone this person is going to have long-term potential they're going to be younger than you possibly or they just have a younger spirit if you're already involved with someone i would say that this means yes because the page of wands um when you look at the definition it's um 
about creative thinking. The Page of Wands is also able to confront life's obstacles with youthful optimism and energy. So this person will have a very positive spirit. I think if you've been going through some things with your partner, you're going to see this positive spirit come out um, in the long term. Okay? If you've been with someone recently, I, I'm sorry, not recently. If you've been with someone for a while is what I mean to say. If you've been with someone for a while, they're, um, they're definitely going to get out of the slump that they're in. Because I can see that by the five of coins. Your final card, Gemini, is the King of Wands. So you had a lot of people coming out of your reading. Again, this is another person, another literal person. This is a really beautiful card because this is a father surrounded by his children. You know, the energies of the King of Wands, and it goes along with the rest of your suit. You actually got one, two, three four wand suits so you're trying to figure out who you are and you're going to figure a lot of that out this month but this is somebody that is a father a loving um with loving paternal qualities um a married man and a wise leader so um i do see if <clears throat> especially if you're a woman or a man if you're single right now you're going to meet someone that will marry you this month okay i don't i can't say when it depends on your individual situation um, if you're already involved with someone, um, I can see things getting a lot serious, a lot more serious this month. Um, some of you may um, end up pregnant. Okay. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed the new layout where I'm showing you pictures of the cards. Um, I hope that you guys um, enjoyed your reading. Um, again, for a more personalized reading, please contact me on my website. Thank you for watching. Bye.